Hey guys, welcome to Bubble Man's World. I am freshly back from Jamaica and instead of uploading all the Jamaican videos as I would normally do after a trip, what I've noticed is after I've uploaded four or five or six of them, you guys tend to get a little bored and the views go uh, substantially down and uh, I want the Jamaican videos to get some nice views so I thought I would intermix the videos that I do in between uploading the Jamaican videos. So first off, I wanted to start with saying a very happy birthday to my good buddy Johnny B. Uh, it is his birthday today. We usually celebrate it in Amsterdam, but today, uh, you know, we're in Canada, so I'm hoping on seeing him later on for some birthday puffs. And for now, what I'm planning on doing is I've loaded up my sled. I'm actually sweating like a maniac. I got my Leafa on, ready for the winter out there. And my, oh, my old crew from up in Whistler, Ryan and Dave, some great guys have called me up and they've said, we're gonna go sledding today. It is early, the mountain only opened up yesterday, but uh, you know, if the mountain's good to ski on, the mountain's good to sled on. So that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be a small adventure. We're just gonna go up, I'll, I'll record a little bit on the GoPro. Probably won't be too much fancy riding going on, but definitely some epic views. And I want you guys to join me and puff with us each time we puff. I'm bringing the D-nail and the battery. Sorry, the Dabinator and the battery. My D-nail doesn't work off the battery. Uh, I'm bringing my Mighty Volcano, I'm bringing my Atmos Pen, I'm bringing a bunch of hash from a variety of cool people like D420K and uh, the West Coast Concentrate crew, uh, myself, uh, Horatio. I've got a ton of great shit to hit up on the mountain with my friends, so I guess with no further ado, why don't we hit a bowl? Got some beautiful things that the West Coast Concentrate crew brought me uh, just the day after I landed, actually. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but... You can see the quality on that there, right? So that's some real fine full melt bubble hash right there. And I gotta give it up to those West Coast Concentrate crew, you know? I always think of them as a solventless company. The company does make a lot of BHO and other things, but these particular guys, um, Adam and Brett and Phil, they're really on the solventless quiver. So they've got the dry sift, they've got the rosin, they've got the wet wash, and... Uh, you know, really, they've been doing a wonderful job at it. So uh, my hat's off to all of you guys. Let's see if we can't get a nice little wake and baker in here. The stuff is is just so perfect. It just self presses. Uh, you know, you give it a tiny little bit of a finger, and uh, you get that. So very nice, very nice little dab a doodle. I'm sure someone's gonna comment on how my finger was dirty, but I'm smoking it, so don't worry about it doing this Whistler thing today. and We're going to be in the Whistler backcountry, so we won't be on Whistler Mountain, obviously. Uh, they don't really, uh, they frown a little bit upon taking sleds onto the mountain, but uh, we'll be across the street, actually, either on Brandywine or Sprout, so who knows? Maybe we'll see some of you guys out there, and uh, let's have this hit and start making our way up to Whistler. Shall we? Yummy. All right. <coughs> wakey, wakey. Now that we've bakied, let's get on with the show. See you there. We just went by Furry Creek, which is actually the golf course where Adam Sandler and Bob Barker got into the fight in the movie Happy Gilmore. Kind of wanted to film that for you guys. Uh, hopefully on the way back it'll still be light out and I'll be able to just film going by it and add it into this little spot because uh, ah, it's a cool spot when you see the hole and recognize it right by the ocean there. A lot of you might have thought it was a, a lake. So this is the last little spot right before Squamish. 
So the Pacific Ocean, which you could probably barely see, just ends up here, and then there's the glacier in the background up there. And I guess soon we'll come around the corner and we'll see Diamond Head as well, and then we'll be into the uh, Tantalus Mountain Range. Tantalus Mountain Range has been in countless snowboard and ski videos, as well as sled videos for that matter. It's uh, pretty epic mountains. They're very European-esque, very pointy and sharp. Uh, not quite like the ones you see up uh, around Whistler and, and Blackholm, which are a lot more rounded out. Even though you, you can find some peaked out mountains up at Brandywine that look uh, almost French Alp-ish. Here. I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to catch it. I'll try to give you a little shot of it. Yeah, there it is right there. So that is the mine that if any of you uh, watched the, uh, the X-Files, uh, there was a lot of scenes filmed there in, in there, in particular the one where Mulder sort of sees the gray aliens in the silhouette of the hallway. That was all filmed up in uh, this little uh, mining town. Britannia, it is called. Britannia Mine. Good dirt bike trail, dirt biking trails up uh, up on the mountain up to the right here, and uh, great salmon fishing over here on the left. All the salmon that spawn come up here, and then of course you also have uh, kokanees and some uh, rainbows that you can pull up out of the waters up here. All right, coming through this little little mountain range that they cut open, and you kind of enter the Squamish Valley, and uh, yeah, you end up with some pretty pretty beautiful vistas up here. Just past the ocean, you end up with um, Mirren Lake right here. So it's a pretty cool little lake. Side of the mountain, and there's also some really beautiful trails just up to the right up here. All right, so coming around, we have the Big Chief. On the right, on the left, you have Diamond Head. And uh, just up here is Shannon Falls, a really beautiful uh, waterfall. All the first signs of winter. A little bit of frost and snow just on the side of the uh, on the road there, and uh, we're getting closer. All right, so here we have Shannon Falls. Give you a little view of the falls. It's quite a beautiful fall. I've gone up to it with D420K. If you guys want to get a closer look at it, that's about all we're going to get for now. All right, just rolling through Squamish. We just entered Squamish. This is uh, pretty much the Valley of Squamish. Houses and you know a bunch of shops on the left here, and we're just going to keep going straight on through. Well, we have made it into the bush. Shit just got real. It's, uh, obviously, we gotta head up here quite a ways because the parking lot is, uh, there's just too much gravel and shit ice. This would be brutal to try and drive up on a sled. So we're gonna head up this mountain as high as we can and then we're gonna park and take our sled off and uh, go see if we can go have a little fun. All right, guys, so we just got here to Sprout. We're about to uh, head up. Our last uh, member of our party just got here, and uh, we've driven up a fair bit up the mountain, and uh, now it's time to get up there and see uh, see what's going on. Got the GoPro, got the Atmos hanging around my neck, brought the Mighty Pen, uh, brought the um, Dabinator with the Fabergé Egg and the Quartz Crystal Bowl. So we're not going up there light by any means. Uh, we'll see you up there. It's my life, it's my life, it's my life And it's your life, it's your life, it's your life But if we come together for one life We're coming from behind, behind Showing the world our watch Spiritual warriors trotting from behind Trotting forward at this time Let's turn the tables Yes, 
I and I come to turn the table Turn the paradigm around Yes, deprogram and reprogram Free mankind Showing the world our own Spiritual warriors trotting from behind Trotting forward at this time Thank you. 
With the judgment so near at hand What, what you gonna do? Tell me now, what you gonna do? Hey, hey, you see the blood Blood, blood of the poor My heart and soul Come on back here, Greg and Lena Oh, yes, it's a crazy town Out Pretty soon, it'll be lightning and thunder Earthquake world in the fire they never showed up there, hey? Yeah. Always nice to have that creek right there when you blow up your beers. Yeah. And destroy cream of. I like when you pulled fruit. out the like spinach and was like, "What the fuck is this?" I it was spinach too. Oh, that's my weed. weed. <laughs> <laughs> There's Rye Guy. We were just taking a, se a five-second break. Well, then let's go do it. The water to do it. I have cream of everything in this pack. It just fucking destroyed everything. Look at my bag of weed. Yeah, let's go look at your bag of weed because it's hilarious. <laughs> All right, so here's the bag of weed. That is a serious Welcome to sledding. fucking travesty. <laughs> That's a travesty right there. <laughs> All right, we got up to the top. Time for a beer and a puff. Yeah, bro. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah. It's such tractiony riding. It'd be nice to find some no crust somewhere, but I don't think that's happening. And I had no idea. I was like, you did really well going up there. I saw you got little bucks, and then you got on top and right hit it again. <laughs> nice. That's what you need to do because if you just give up every time that happens. Be fucking Did you see? Forever. I ended up on the wrong side of the slope down there too. I had to tweak it around. Yeah, no, I saw that. You're doing really well. <laughs> you have to be a little aggressive for sure. Are these your first days or what? Oh, yeah. uh, first day of the season. But you've been sledding for some years? Uh, no, like. Last year? I've been riding my old 500 on like sunny a beachy year. days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But not sort of. This is a, that's a bit bumpy. Sort of. I think I'm only three, three years in maybe or four maximum. That, and yes. she hasn't been riding that sled on her own. It's a yeah, bit more oomph than the 500. Hey, yo, B. Wagwan Profit. I can Why do it for you. Why do feel real good? Uh? Give me a puff off right now. How will get to I had jam one, man. <coughs> Who am going, man? Real one. The purpose of the weed that keeps me going. The purpose of the weed that soothe my mind. The purpose of the weed gave by this expression The purpose of the weed let I view the time Weed is not here to trick the mind It is only here to do its purpose of time Ganja is not here to trick the mind It is only here to do its purpose of time well, I've been traveling to Kingston about 20 miles an hour. Been sleeping on my jam bone fat like the clock towers. Fresh vegetation with trees and with flowers. Have to stop and take me ganja, lift them over bow. Give me a big head, but me no want no ziggy. Don't give me no problem, just give me time, no want no twiggy, no. No two pop, give me one biggie. And if it bigger than biggie from a high grade, give me, make me go, go from pass, go from pass, go from pass. And then me go from car, go from car, go from car. I make a puff and pass, puff and pass, puff and pass. I give me puff and car, puff and car. <coughs> no from you see me mass out under me dark eyes. Now if you have some question, it's an high grade bastard. Smell the scent, I couldn't pass that. Me tell them load up the country, make me draw that now. Before me light that, nothing bliss that. Cause I the good old lamps break, come make me puff and pass that. Pass that. Pass. Hey buddy. What's up, Rave? How's it going, Rave? 
Want some food? You gotta give him a little something. I'm gonna break him a piece of my sandwich off. It's right on the gas cap. <sighs> Sandwich. Oh, he's got some fucking tuna in here. He's not gonna miss that. Yeah, I'll give him give him one more piece here. Dude, are you serious, bro? He'll come back. He'll come back. Now we just turn around, let him give him give him a minute. He smells it. You're right. You're right, Brian. <laughs> the way he walks is super funny. He's just like, I'm just gonna waddle on over there. Is it lunchtime? You freaked him out with that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'm just, I'm moving too much for him, I guess. He's, he's coming again. I, I have my back to him to give him more. It's when you make that noise that he turns around. Really? Yeah, now he's coming back again. He's like, this is very close. What are these people doing? Apparently they're feeding me fish. Hmm, there you go. See, we're not so bad. We're not so bad at all. Alright guys, so we just got up here to the top of Sprout. Whistler Black Home in the background. Got some West Coast Concentrate. I think we're hitting the purple candy. Purple candy rosin. Here, come check that out. Very nice. <laughs> so, we're going to do that. We're going to have a dab. It's uh. I almost have to heat it up in my fingers before I can pick it up because it's so shattery. What's that for? Need to oh, can you roll that in my fingers? Hear the wings flapping on the raven? What's that? You can hear the wing flap on the raven. Is that what that was? Yes, yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty. All right. So I also was crazy enough to bring. The terpenes. Yeah, so buddy. Do some terp dipping. Now I already hit the Gorilla Glue plenty in Jamaica, so let's pull out something that we didn't have in Jamaica. Ooh, Girl Scout cookies. Heard about that yep, one before. That's, that. yeah, that's yeah. the one. So we're gonna do some purple candy. Let's make this nice so it doesn't break. It's it's it gets so hard that it break that it uh, it wants to shatter. So I just have to change the, the shape of it so I can get it in and out of the bottle. We're just going to do a real quick terp dip there. We are up to 461 degrees. The dabinator and the battery are working hard for us. All right. And of course, you know, when we're sledding here in beautiful British Columbia in the backcountry, we, uh, we love to bring our ships with us. So I thought it was a bit of a fab egg sort of a day. And... Uh, 535 degrees and climbing. I'm gonna go up to about 600 degrees just because it is pretty cool up here. And we're gonna do some terp dabs, a little modulation up here in the just most epically beautiful backcountry. This is day one for me. Some of my friends have already been out for day two, but uh, here we go. I know, right? <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> the flavor on that was <laughs> ridiculous. As I spit all over my D now. I'm gonna break one off for the cameraman because I know he's anxious. Yeah, buddy. <coughs> would you like one as well? Um, I guess I would try that, yeah. Yeah, of course, well. Sounds <coughs> good. <coughs> Let's do the Ooh, turp dip. Greg's coming back. You can hear it just cracking on the ice, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not great conditions. It but it's is beauty great up. Conditions. It's so beautiful. For what it is, you know? So friggin' beautiful up here. So one dab down. does like one toast? Kind of thing? Yep. I mean, wow. you could take this in four or five toasts. You want to hit this here? <laughs> there, man. It's fucking awesome over there. All right. Nice. Did you want to hit this? Okay. <laughs> Ladies first. It's nice. There's a couple of intimidating little bits. Could she get down? She stays not too intimidated. Oh. Yeah. Don't smoke too much of that. You want to hit that? Sure. <coughs> She's like, I 
think she smoked those a few months right as she can set it. It should be. All right. Time for the cameraman. <laughs> this is fucking steep hill, man. Yeah, that's crazy, I, that I hill. the same line, not the same, but... This I went with before I came Dave up because Dave throttle. was three eighths throttle. Yeah, Delayed. it's just it's intimidating going down if you pick the wrong you want to line. Give some water. She took too big of a hit. That's Dave, steep. Okay there? Hey Lena, get some water here. Right here for you. And then maybe a little juice after that. It's a hundred times better in there. A hundred times better. What do you think? I did the calculation. I think it was somewhere around that. Somewhere around that. All right, cameraman. Should I stop filming or? I'll just take the camera. Oh, Greg, can I steal some of that? There you go. Dab that in, not in the hole, but in the moat. Oh yeah. It's a little hard on your nerves. Right? This is the, this is what we're talking about right here. Proper dabbing. Did you get it? Yes, you want to hit some? There's <laughs> probably some smoke still in there. But yeah, and then just drop the rest of the dagger <coughs> in, too. <coughs> and we'll cover it, too. Yeah. Now let's get you a fresh one. Clear for that's hot. Don't touch your finger around there. <coughs> What's that? Yeah. Go down? And you know what? Let's decide when we get there. Put you on a sled, yeah, I remember you were it. saying you're like it's even like difficult. To, like, <coughs> well, these guys are gone. Easy, you know. if, as easy, long as you touch the right line, there's a there's just a bit of a ridge in one spot. But if you're going on the wrong side of it, you're gonna kind of push the But you guys punch the Is line it? in. They got a line yeah. in. There's no track. Like you're, you're, you're the first <laughs> track. There's nobody there. Just follow. Just someone down and just stay in the track, right? And then when you're down the bottom, you can decide if you want to try it or not. And uh, one of us will go behind yeah, you, go, go, and if go. you can't do it, you'll come up with one of us. Careful, you're getting a lot. And not like one of us will take your sled off. That's right. so, yeah. It's not a problem. We'll, no. we'll get her done. And to come back up. <laughs> it's still, I like her crust. There's no it's different. It's not the same crust. It does have a crust, but not like this. It doesn't get the sun. It doesn't get the late day sun because of the bowl there. It's got late day sun now, but it's not. It must be not getting the early or something because it's definitely not as crusty. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is like, <laughs> even me, I'm like, <laughs> destroyed! <laughs> Dave is like, I think serious, man. Yeah, serious business. I think is serious, bro. <laughs> Don't let yourself get bucked. Don't react. As you back to around, don't react. Like crazy. You know what? You should try it. Maybe try going up. This is harder. This is harder. Yeah. Yeah. This is really bumpy and um, it's got wind affected pipe. Like I went up there to see if I could jump and down and I didn't. Dave. Oh no, I Dave. Yes. Can I do this? Yeah, absolutely. Two bottles. Yeah, I don't think you'll have any problem. <laughs> and if somebody struggles, then a couple. We of got a big enough crew. Or we can just. Yeah. If we do a couple of loops on the same run, you'll have a nice easy run in. It's just my hand that's bugging me. Holding my fucking <laughs> thumb and my finger together yeah, it ends up like, it's ex like doing idiot. a little. Like doing yeah, like that happens to me sometimes too. It's you just gotta get the blood it's going. Stopping right here was good. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's gonna be a day of like go set up, hang out for a bit, go set up, hang out for a bit. No problem. Yeah. I won't pull this thing out every time anyway. This will be a, a, maybe one other time at the end of the day. I'll pull it out. Yeah. We'll get a nice blast. top of that ridge with Whistler Blackcomb in the background. Yeah. Once we'll be we get sick. in there, we won't. Move, I don't think. Be pretty solid. Yeah. Nice. I just love that my shit shuts up tight. Yeah, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then up. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention. You'll be okay. All right, guys. So we are here in the bottom of the bowl. One of our friends ended up in a hole up there. So Dave's gonna go check out, see how she's doing. Um, I think she'll be fine. We got enough of. Uh, of a crew here that will yank her out of that hole, no problem, but uh, give you an idea what happened here. This is sledding right here, boys. Boom. All right, Dave. Now, purpose of 
the weed that keeps me going The purpose of the weed that soothes the mind Purpose of the weed gave by this expression The purpose of the weed let I view the time Weed is not here to trick the mind It is only here to do its purpose of time Ganja is not here to trick the mind It is only here to do its purpose of time Well I imagine though the road there be some cops Setting up the blood and scheme and all the wrecking all the weed traps What's you man a rass? Man we rems on rems and tell me off rems and fast that Upon your scene to pour intervene In my brain stay that keen and behind your scene Me and my team have another 25 pounds in for me let me smoke it up clean Man I ask now Uh oh Puff puff and pass, puff and pass, puff and pass And then me puff and cough, puff and cough, puff and cough And make me puff and pass, puff and pass, puff and pass And then me puff and cough, puff and cough Puff and pass, puff and pass, puff and pass Then me puff and cough, puff and cough, puff and cough, puff and cough
All right, so there it is. That's the end of the day right there. Got something on the lens, I'm gonna have to take that off. That was an incredible, incredible day on the mountain. Well, thanks guys for coming out and joining Bubble Man's world for some good old fashioned redneckery and fun. We definitely had a good time. Say goodbye to the crew. See you later, bro. Next time.